Greetings and welcome back to Idle Barbershop Tycoon, otherwise known as the romantic adventures of Mike Freshcut. And there he is, there's the man himself opening his shop in the morning. Of course, in our last episode, he finally made that phone call to Angelina Jensen and ordered a couch. He also broke it in. So, yeah, things worked out well. The plan worked. It was, of course, his sister's plan. And it wouldn't surprise me if our first story element was going to be her finding out her plan worked very well. In the meantime, you can also see we've accumulated the 23500 reputation we need to advance the story. We've also accumulated 64 million. And yet he's still working. I mean, there's a really good retirement you can do with that. We also have some new cuts available, so why don't we just quickly do that because we can make more money. Besides, some people don't get the cuts they want and then they just kind of leave, so if we can get a new one, that's a good thing. And it looks like we do have a new one available to us. First, let's max out the side part. Okay, that was like a 1.4 million. It's not that good. Just saying. All right, this is going to be the Jude. Okay, the Jude. We're going to one-star that one. And the next star is going to be a million. These haircuts are getting very expensive. All right, let's check out beards and see what we can do over there. We can't do anything here. We can't even star up the Depp. How terrible is that? We need 30,000 reputation points to, to star that one up. So I guess we're going to be doing that one after the break. Uh, this one, of course, is actually very close, isn't it? The classic full beard. So that one only requires uh, 24,000, so we're only 500 away from that. So we might be able to get that one before the break. Anyway, there is no purpose in delaying. We might as well just jump right into it and find out what Mike does next. Boom. Uh oh, that's not a good thing. What was that sound? I'd better get dressed. Okay, yeah, I agree. What the? My front door is completely destroyed. I think you're missing the point that there's like a motorcycle in your shop. And somebody must have got up and ran away? Okay, that's a very expensive way to do damage if this was like an attack by Simon. Am I still dreaming? A bike crashed through my door, but I don't see anyone. That's definitely strange. Darn, I need to clean up this mess, but I don't think I'll be able to open today. He's very upset. <sighs> I need to replace that door as soon as possible. Oh, I was right. But it's still a pretty expensive way to do damage, isn't it? I mean, are you think you're just going to walk away with that bicycle? Oh, are you having an open door today, Fresh Cut? Oh, it's you, Rapid Chop. My, my, this doesn't look very professional. What happened here? Well, sir, it doesn't concern you. And we are not open today. On the contrary, you seem to me that your business is quite open today. Very funny, sir. I need to ask you to leave, please. I have work to do here. Talking of work, if you find that you've lost all your clients due to this obvious hazardous environment in your shop, feel free to give me a call. I'll consider buying it at half market value. I already told you the shop is not for sale. Now, get out. Fine, I'll take my leave. Who would want to stay in such a dangerous place anyway? Okay, you know, if that's a motorbike, tracing its owner would be very easy. Just saying. Darn that rapid chop. His timing was too perfect. Hmm. That was very suspicious, actually. I need to keep an eye on him, somehow. Anyway, first things first, I'll call Mr. Jaden for a little help. Good day, Mr. Jaden. It's Mike. 
Hello, Mike. How's it going? Actually, I'm having a pretty bad day. Well, why don't you tell me what happened? I'd like to have heard that conversation. Okay, the bike is gone. The bike is a really big item there, you know, because you can trace who actually owns that. Just saying. It's not that bad. Look at it this way. The door was pretty old, and you would have to have replaced it soon anyway. Now, let me check the new door choices. Maybe Mr. Jaden did that so he could sell a new door. Dun, dun, dun. Plot twist. All right. Um, yeah, all glass. Considering what just happened, probably not a good idea. I don't know about the color. I mean, that kind of suits everything, doesn't it? I mean, look, it's the same color as the window trim there. And the other thing. So, yeah, I think we're going with that one. Besides... There's less glass, if you know what I mean. You see, much better now. And tomorrow, you'll be able to open your barber shop like nothing happened. Except for the new and better front door. Exactly. That's the spirit. Thank you again, Mr. Jaden. See ya, kiddo. Again, what happened to the bike? The bike is a way of tracing... You call the cops, the bi they trace who owns the bike, and follow the trail from there. Who knows? There might be fingerprints on it, you know? Big deal there. Okay, uh, apparently we're waiting for 31,500 reputation now. But we did get some new missions, and they're probably all done already, right? So we'll just grab it and get the stuff. And all that. Okay, and we're waiting for new ones. Should we do upgrades? You know, I think we can do upgrades when we come back because we'll probably have more money when we come back because I'm going to have to wait until we have 31,500 reputation. So when we have that, we will be back. And we're back, finally. And we just hit that reputation total up there just a few moments ago. And uh, that took more than three hours. And if you question that, just look at the live value in the lower right and compare that with just before the uh, the break. Yeah, I'm going to have to change the way I'm doing this. Maybe shoot the first part way early in the day because this video is going to be late tonight. So, yeah. Um, I think we got a new haircut here. I might have done this one uh, already. We did an upgrade on the, uh, the Jude here. I kind of did this. And didn't go with the footage because I wasn't there yet. I thought I was actually there yet. The other one I did was I got a new one here. The full beard. So that one was actually expensive. I made note of uh, the fact that the third star for this one is actually like three and a quarter million. Getting kind of expensive. But then we have 65 million anyway. So I guess it's all relative. All right. We do have some story. Uh, let's see where it goes from here. Do we go with the uh, attack or do we go with him basically telling his sister how things went? Should be interesting to see, so let's just jump into there. Then we can do some upgrades with all that money we have. Yeah, totally crazy. It was a disaster. I had to replace the whole door. But now, all's back in order. Oh, he's telling Angelina. Oh, before his sister. That's a good sign. That's good to hear. I'm glad nobody was hurt. What are you doing right now? The usual, thinking of how to improve the barbershop. Ah, that's great. What do you plan next? Not actually sure. I'm thinking maybe some wall decoration. Something to really enhance the place. Oh, like a sign or a logo, you mean? No, more like a decoration, something that would cover a good chunk of the wall. Now I'm curious to know which one you'll choose. Next time you come to visit, you'll see the amazing improvement. Can't wait. Yes, Dad. Sure, be right there. Okay, Mike, I gotta go. See you soon. All right, take care, Angelina. All right, are we gonna pick something now? Is that it? Is that what I waited three hours for? 
Okay, something that represents the place. Let me check with my best advisor after my sister, the internet. This one is pretty good. Wait a minute, he's doing like in his head now because it's a different text. Who was he actually talking to before? This one is pretty good and this one might also fit. Oh, and that one is excellent. Does that mean I go with the third one? Let's see. Okay, why would you do that? For a barber shop? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, that one could be all right, especially where it is in the waiting room. What is this one? And I do mean, what is that? Is that like a raw shack or something like that? All right, we're going to go basic with this one. I think that one probably works best. I mean, do people sitting on the couch want a bicycle hanging above their head? Think about that. All right, I think that one works. Oh, yes, that's definitely it. It looks perfect. You see the way it's, it's, it's being done here now? The other ones had the little bubbles because it was in his head. He's talking out loud now. Are you kidding me? That's what I waited three hours for. Really? Man, dude, your sister is going to be peeved at you for not telling her how well it went. You know, it was her plan after all. All right, so we have to get to 41000 We are not doing that today. But I have a lot of money, and we can do a lot of upgrading. So let's, uh, let's start with that. Let's see what we can do with the chairs here. Ooh, these are really expensive, aren't they? All right, let's uh, look around a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. Did I not do that one? Okay, so I guess I didn't complete the chairs because the fine arts one down here is only uh, 200. Did I do the beards? No, I didn't. Okay, and that, as a result, I don't have that one open either. All right, so let's uh, complete chair number one before moving over. All right, we'll get this one to 400, and that will open the one down below. And then we'll see about going over to the next chair. And that's going to be... Hold it, hold it down. Boom, 400. And then we have this one. Uh, tools Mechanical Study increases the income of all beard cuts. So this is a good one. I think we got it to 200 for haircuts. So we'll just get it up there, keep it all nice and even. I think we ran out of money last time. Okay, is that what I did for haircuts? Yes, it is. Okay, and the numbers look even there across the board. Although there's a light, slight difference there. All right, let's move on to the next chair. So we're going with 800, 600, 400, and 200. All right, so we have to do this one here, and this is going to be haircuts. We shouldn't have any money problems. I'll even things out and then see what we're going to boost. Because we want to make a lot of money. Okay, uh, that one I shot over a little bit. All right, so this one is also the hair straightening technique. This helps all the haircuts. And that's going to be 200. All right, so let's go over to beards. Same thing. Let's get this one to 400. Yeah, the reputation for individual story segments just takes a very long time. I'm not even sure why it takes so long. I mean, is there a way to actually boost that or speed it up? I haven't actually seen that, so I don't know why that part takes so long. I have no idea. I'm guessing there's some diabolical reason behind it, right? And going all the way to 200 so that all beard cuts will make me money. And the numbers are pretty much the same. I did go a little bit too much in one of them. All right, but I think we're done with the chairs. Let's see what we have over here now. Oh, this is the coffee machine. Yeah, these numbers start kind of expensive, except the grinding technique 
speeds up refill time of the energy. Oh, this is for my energy. Yeah, it's really expensive. Why is the, um, the first one more expensive than the second one? Speeding up the refill time seems to be something that would be more advantageous. Yet it's 20,000 more to increase the exotic origin, even though they're the same level. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. All right, I'm going to boost this one. I can boost the other one. I will. I mean, I got all the way to 300, and it's still less to raise. All right, we'll do 250 here, because this is... Taking a huge bite. All right, so that's uh, that's very expensive coffee. All right, what do we have here? Naturally, force. I can start boosting. I think down. Oh wow, they're all very expensive, aren't they? I'm thinking we do the third one, maybe up to 400 if we can. That will open up the last one. Okay, let's do that. After all, it's the least expensive one, even though now it's pretty expensive. Yeah, I need to make hundreds of millions. All right, and then we can do this one. Embed good smell. Increases the reputation of all cuts. Okay, that's a good one. So the towel will smell good. Doesn't matter how it smells, as long as it's hot on the face. You really have to go to an old-style uh, barber for that, by the way. They're very rare. Okay, so I think that's good for the um, the hot towel stand. All right, what do we have here? Oh, the reception desk. Yeah, very expensive, aren't they? Very, very expensive. Why don't we try boosting them all by 100? Wow, that just... Oh, that's the maximum level. No wonder it was so expensive. I was about to say, that was really expensive. Well, that's the reason it's very expensive. All right, let me try to increase this one over here because I'd like to unlock that last one. I'm hoping it's at like uh, 300 and not 400 because that's getting very expensive. There we go. Efficient communication technique. Accelerate the time needed for all cuts. Okay, that sounds... Very useful. Opening up all these little ones just seems to be a really good idea. All right, I'm watching the price. I think we can do 200. All right, we'll do 200. Okay, so let's uh, see what else we have. Oh, the waiting area. Right, right. Okay, that first one is pretty pricey. Let's see if getting this... I guess I have to get to 400? Increases the reputation of all cuts. That sounds like a really good one right there. Besides, I'd like to unlock these other ones, so I'm guessing I'm shooting for 400. I mean, the first one is good, it's just kind of expensive. Of course, this one is now expensive. Very expensive. Ouch. And it didn't unlock the next one. Wow. Maybe I have to get both of them there? All right, we'll get the first one to 400 because getting the other one to 600, that's going to be really expensive. Nope, didn't do the job. All right, so it's not telling me what I need. But that one is going to be very expensive. I have to get that one to 600. And that is the end of my equipment, actually. Okay, so what do I want to go back and work on again? Okay, that 500 was the maximum there. Those are all really expensive. Coffee machine. Eek. I still don't understand why the second one is so inexpensive in comparison to the first one. I mean, speeding up the refill time sounds really good. It means that energy bar in the middle. Okay, let's go back to the chairs then. All right, well, you know what? Let's start working on the chairs. And we'll do the first one here. Gel application exercise. We'll do this until we run out of money. Which probably isn't going to take very long. But this one does increase the income. 
the chairs in oh and 1000 is the maximum huh okay we'll get this one to 800 I should probably go to the beard section after this to see if I can do that too all right we'll go to the beard section And the money is going quickly. Do I get there? It's going to be close. Made it. All right. And I guess maybe I should just boost it. You know, maybe I'll pour money into the last one. Because it does do like all beard cuts. As opposed to specific ones. Like the basic one. The advanced one. So I'm just going to spend the rest of my money here. And I think we're out of money. There we go. Okay, I managed to spend, I think it was $66 million at that point. Something like that. Oh, and we have another haircut available. It's just that I can't afford it. Oh, and we also have some missions here, too. Maybe I can afford it now, but probably not. All right, upgrade. This is the hair and beard cut chair, too. Okay, that was the tool sharpening technique. I think that was the fourth one. Okay, uh, 70 reputation at the end of the day. And earn 1500 from a single customer. This is a barber shop, and we're talking about a haircut costing 1500 Could be two things. Could be the hair, could be the beard. But still, it's 1500 Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So, Simon seems to be getting more enthusiastic about wanting the shop. He seems to be doing some uh, things here. I'm still interested in the motorbike and what happened to that because that's the avenue. If it was stolen, then reported stolen, there might be some fingerprints on it. Who knows? But then again, this Simon fella seems to be a slick fella. Maybe he's done this before. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. Maybe we can get an attack dog. Sounds like an idea. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you. Yeah.